Cause heaven is a place I know Tell myself I shouldn't go a place where we could live together Playing with fire but sudden we live forever Heaven is a place like this Four walls to hide within A cold, cold world's medicine Knowing you won't have to sleep alone again I don't know when I started Loving you Now it's all that I can do Heaven is a place I know When I'm with you
We welcome you all in this beautiful place at this special occasion in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, Amy and Joshua, we want to thank you for inviting us to your wedding. God bless you both. Amen. Amen. Uh, before we start with the prayer, I want to make a few short announcements. And I want to start by saying that our prayer, for, especially for you two, is for God to bless you. And also God bless uh, Joshua's parents and uh, Amy's parents, Mary and Steve Parker, and uh, Sora Cristina and Daniel Turco. Uh, we also have a few friends from different states, different cities. I would like to acknowledge um, friends and family of the bride and the groom, such as Washington State from Seattle and Tacoma and probably different places. We welcome you. We also have friends and family from California, Colorado, Boston, Texas, and even Canada. Welcome all to Portland, Oregon. God bless you all. Um, I would like to ask God to be here and to thank God in a short prayer, and then we will begin. Heavenly Father, we come before you with thankfulness and joy, and we want to thank you for this special day. Please bless Amy and Joshua. Please pour your blessings upon them and their siblings and their parents. Uh, we're here to worship you, Lord. We're here to listen to your word. And we ask you in the name of Jesus to help us apply the word that we'll hear today. We thank you for all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you. Um, the service here is very, very uh, clear. We'll have a song. A short sermon and then a worship song again and then the Word of God again and then we'll conclude by asking God to bless these two beautiful uh, young men and young lady Amy and Joshua God bless you all if you're ready let's start and may God bless us all Amy and Josh, we are so happy to be here celebrating your big day. Um, I don't know Josh very well, but I know you've made Amy happy. And I've known Amy since I was four. I think she was my first friend, at least one of my first friends. And she's the reason I'm playing violin today. She gave me her old violin, a little half-sized tiny violin, and that's how I started playing violin. I'm really happy to be here. Happy, We're all happy to be part of your wedding. May God bless you in this new chapter of your lives. And may you seek him together and deepen your relationship with each other and with him. God bless you.
What a beautiful day. We kind of, every one of us was worried. What's going to happen in Portland, in Washington, in this area, which is so unpredictable weather? God made a beautiful day for you too. Joshua and Amy, you look beautiful. You're handsome, Joshua. <laughs> Amy, you're so beautiful. This is your beautiful day of your life. So God made this day for you too, to enjoy. Congratulations to your parents. We are family friends with the uh, Turku family, Christina and Daniel. And uh, I remember Emmy to two wed weddings of my kids. You were singing so beautiful. So probably this is my turn <laughs> to preach to you. <laughs> so. I try to be as short as I can, but also I try to touch a few points. Marriage, uh, these days, people try to define other way than the scripture says. God created marriage. He says, it's not good for a man to be alone. He say, I'm going to make a helper comparable to him. So. Today, you have this beautiful bride next to you. So, I'm going to show you three principles in marriage, in a Christian marriage, we can uh, apply to our life and keep our family happy and uh, married forever. And um, one of the example in the Bible, it's in Ephesians chapter 5, we speak about, speak about three things. And I want to touch these three things. Love is the first one. You cannot enter in a marriage without the love of God, without the love towards each other. You cannot enter in a marriage if you don't submit, submit to each other. What I mean this? It means respect one to another. To honor each other. And the third thing is to forgive each other. There is in life uh, time and uh, in fact the, the, the life is a, is a trial, it's a school. We every day we learn, and we every day we learn to be better. Just think about. I want to emphasize this as you build a house. The first of the house you put the foundation, and then you build the walls, and then you put the roof. That's exactly the way in a marriage is. The foundation of the marriage is the love, is the love of God. And the Word of God says, Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. So husbands, love, love your wife just as Christ loved, loved the church. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own body. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes is as the Lord does to the church. So what the words of God want to tell us is to cherish, to love. What I mean cherish, cherish, cherish means to protect and care for someone lovingly. So uh, for each one of you, love is the basic in the marriage and it is the foundation and I know you build on the love, on the love of each other and the love of Christ. The second big thing is submission. Submission doesn't mean, doesn't mean somebody is under the thumb of your finger. Submission means to respect each other, to be nice with, with each other, to honor each other. So the Word of God 
it says, Wife, submit to your own husband as to the Lord. Just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wife be their own husband in everything. The third thing is, is forgiveness. There is a, a life of a span of a man which makes mistakes. So every one of us, we have to forgive. And in uh, Colossians, Colossians 3, 19, it says, Husband loves your wife, and do not be bitter towards them. Because even though, if we want our prayer to be answered, we don't want to hinder the prayer. We can hinder the prayer to not forgiving the spouse. So, so the family who pray together, you know, stay together. So love, if we speak about love, the word of God says, above all things, above all things, put on the love which is the bond of perfection. And uh, I like, I like the way uh, Song of Solomon uh, is saying, the love, the love, it's like a fire. The love, the water cannot quench the love. Uh, so in, in your life, in a marriage life, love should be the basic of everything. And a uh, few things I want to I say about uh, a character of a husband or a character of a wife. Proverbs 22.1 is say, a good name is the chosen rather than great riches. Uh, what I mean, a good name is built on the good character. And it's more precious than everything. It's more precious, Joshua, a good name than anything. And for you, Amy, in Proverbs 31, 10, it says, it says, an excellent wife, it's a crown of her husband. You're a crown to your husband. And look what it says, Joshua, look what it says in Proverbs 3, 10. Who can find a virtual wife for her word it's above ruby it's so precious it's so precious and uh, keep keep God in your life and when you build a house you build a foundation you build a wall you put the roof roof but you have to furnish too that's right so we have to kind of furnish your marriage so accept one another pray for one another tell the truth to one another be kind to one another help one another be patient with one another forgive one another be generous with one another be respectful with one another and above all things love each other and I will say one more thing and then I will close it takes two to get married but it takes three to keep the marriage so we have to keep Jesus in your life so your marriage lasts forever keep Jesus a cord of three strands it's not broken Easy, easily. Remember this. God is going to bless you and you're going to have a beautiful marriage. Marriage, it's not for a day or two or a month or a year. It's as long as you live. Amen. God bless all of you. Amen. Amen. Well, I've known Amy my whole life since I'm the oldest sister. So what happens when the oldest sister, the little one follows in your footsteps and you have to go through everything. In school, I had no idea about the early college opportunities. I thought it was 11 and 12, but nope, she took it since grade 9. 
And like, oh, I've seen her grow so much. It's amazing to see her grow. So we've always been close, always doing things together, played violin together, duets, which is always fun. And then I got to know Josh a little bit more as he entered Amy's life. <laughs> seen her make her happy, smile. So I'm just excited about their marriage and we guys have a happy life together and make you put God in the center of your lives and always lean on him forever. Love Amen. you both. By the way, this is Amy's favorite song that she requested, so I can't do any other song. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, it's a joy and an honor to be part of your wedding. And uh, it's a blessing to be part of a wedding where God is not only invited to take part of it, but it's in the center of it. Um, I pray that God will bless you today and every day with this blessing, God with you and you too always following God. Um, I have a message for all of us, especially for Amy and Joshua, of course, today. 
uh, from 1 John 4 verse 7 what it says beloved let us love one another for love is of God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God everyone who loves is born of God and knows God when I look at this verse and when I read this verse and even now looking at it I see another chance to marvel at God's love for us and the marvel for our love towards each other the way that God loves us and loved us from the beginning to the end and also what is God's standard for love and it would be nice if everyone will strive towards that right as we get married it will be super helpful for our society uh, even in church life uh, in our relationships to take note of that uh, you will notice that God's opinion about love is very radical compared to our opinion about love. And what I mean by that is you can say I love you all you want and to whoever you want. But between saying it and proving it, oh, there's a difference. Is that not true? It's easy to say it. I say it all the time. I say it all the time to my wife, to my kids. I talked to my daughter today, she's out of town, and the first thing she told me, I love you, Dad, and at the end she said it again, because she got used to saying it. But it's easy to say it. For some people, probably it's not. Usually it is. But it's a different thing to actually be able to leave that out. Your love for each other needs to be, and the Bible goes even further and says, must be the true love of God. It must be a reality. Um, from a pure heart, the Bible says. Our love must be from a pure heart for the rest of our lives and unconditional. And God help us all. I want to touch on two things from this verse and I kind of separated the verse into the first half, the second half. And I would like to begin by saying first thing verse 7 first part of verse 7 I see that the Bible tells us all today and especially you too that loving your husband has to do more with God than it has to do with your husband or your wife loving your spouse has to do more with God than it has to do with your spouse it's a little interesting to think about it like that beloved let us love one another and 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 i want to start by saying this amy um the guy that you sit next to he's a beloved of god and you have to you know treat him as such and and joshua she's a beautiful young lady but on top of all that she's a beloved of god and we have to always remember that and cherish that but the verse goes on and says, and says, Beloved, let us love one another. Why? Why should we love one another? Because we're young, because we're beautiful, because we, we're worth it, because whatever? No. No. Because love is of God. That's why. That's the motivation for love. We have to love one another like that. So whoever is born of God and knows God, that person will love the wife or the husband as such. And you might say, well, Brother Nick, but this verse doesn't talk about marriage. Uh, it's not a marriage passage. It goes for everyone. That only makes my point even stronger. If we are to love one another like that, how much more should we love our husbands and our wives? Right? That's what God calls us to do. Therefore, not loving your spouse the proper way, God's way, not loving your spouse like that, it's not hurting your spouse as much as going to hurt you in the long run. That's why God says um, the best way to go about it is to love one another unconditionally. Because I can't think of a more disgusting way of treating God's love for you, but not loving 
the one that's next to you. The most evil way to show the world that you don't care about the fact that God loves you is not to love the one that's next to you. And more so, your husband or your wife. That's why, that's what I mean when I say I really believe that loving your spouse has more to do with God than it has to do with your spouse. Um, the fact that you even exist, we know that. It's because God loved us. The fact that we're here today is because God's love. The fact that you, you're here in the presence of God asking God to bless you and your wife, Joshua, is God's love expressed to you today. So love one another like that because that's how God calls us. And that's the proof of the fact that we are of God and we know God and we love God by loving one another and modes especially for you too loving your wife loving your husband secondly the second part of this verse says another very very interesting thing and it says that loving your spouse will shape you and mold you and make you a better spouse how can i be a better spouse by loving your spouse more than anything else why because love comes from god it's God's way of keeping us together. Is that not true? That's what's the reason why you two are here? Because you love each other. And you have to continue to do so. Because that's the real uh, reason for marriage, not World War III, right? No, we, we get married because we love each other. And may God bless you with that kind of love. Um, everyone that's born of God and knows God has that kind of love. Um, so whoever brings into marriage, you know, life from God and knowledge of God, that is really husband and wife material. To be born of God and to know God. Girls that are not married look for such a guy and vice versa. Because that's a very rare quality nowadays. Loving your husband, loving your wife, it will actually make you a better husband or a better wife. Not loving or not respecting your husband or your wife will make you less, less than you think you are. That's what the Bible says. I mean, we can have a really high opinion about ourselves. But we have to, and even if we don't have to, we've been tempted and tested every day. And at the test, we can see if we are who do we think we are. Um, God takes it even further and says in Ephesians chapter 5, Brother uh, Pastor Nekulche um, uh, touched on this. Um, we should love one another unconditionally. Unconditionally. We, we find two key words in that passage. Should and must. <laughs> everyone should and everyone must. Because love is of God, and God has all the authority um, to shape us and mold us through one another. By the way, I, I say this a lot to the weddings. The best way you will become a better wife to your husband is your husband through your husband, through the trials, through the, all that, and vice versa. Because that's how God works in our lives. So then I want to conclude um, by saying that a Christian wife will love her husband. A Christian wife would not love her deserving husband. No. A Christian wife will love her husband, period. And a Christian husband will not love the deserving wife, right? No. A Christian husband will love his wife because love comes from God and love is of God. Um, Please uh, believe us and take it from us, the, the chosen ones, the married ones, Josh and, and, and Amy, when I say this. Uh, fast forward dialogues will occur in your relationship. And arguments, if it hasn't yet, will come and, and go. Such is life. Uh, these things will happen and disappointments might occur. In some cases, deep disappointments. But always be sure that the best way to get out of any kind of trouble and danger is through God's love. And don't forget that God created the woman and called her a helper. 
when he's falling, when he's stumbling, you are there to help him, and that's it. And when that will happen, probably for her, because she's probably perfect, but who knows? You know, it might happen. Just remember, you have to be a helper for her also. May God bless you. Um, it was a real joy, like I said, to share the word with you. And I just hope beyond our broken English, beyond anything else, we believe that the Spirit of God could touch our hearts through His word. And that's what we prayed for today. So from the presence of God, go with God. Live your life according to His will and, and, and go with God. But not before. Uh, we're going to invite you to stand up and all of you please and uh, we have a couple of questions for you and then we'll pray for you and we'll follow every day of our lives looking to be more and more like Jesus so I want to invite brother Dumitru uh, here in the front with me I hope this mic will reach all right um, Joshua I want to ask you before God, first of all, and before your friends and family, and everybody here present today, if you take Amy to be your wife out of this love that you heard me and brother uh, Dumitru talking about it today, out of the love and true love of God. Yes. God bless you. And then another question that I have for you is for how long are you committed to hold her, to take care of her, and be her husband? For the rest of my life. God bless you. God bless you. Perfect then. Amy, I don't know if you have emotion or not, <laughs> but it's your turn. Uh, I know you've uh, been to school for a long time with uh, Joshua, but we want to ask before God, before your parents, and before all, all the wedding guests. If uh, the love is the only reason you take Joshua as your husband. Yes. Very good. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, the second question is, for how long you want to love him and cherish him and be with Joshua and Joshua to be your husband. For the rest of my life. God help you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. If you want to just come a step forward here and face each other and we're going to kneel and we're going to pray for you. So. Father God, we come before you, and in Jesus' name, and with perfect faith, with no doubt, we come before you and ask you to bless today Amy and Joshua, their marriage, their life, their future. May your spirit be upon them at every turn and every corner. We know that life goes through valleys sometimes, and we acknowledge that, but we know that through you, will be more than conquerors. That's what I'm asking for Amy and Joshua today. God, please bless them. Give them a happy life, a long life, a healthy life. Please take care of their finances, about their um, feelings, about their lives, their future. If you'll bless them with kids, please bless them with healthy and bright kids and let them be an example for the world, what it means to be a servant of God. We trust you and we ask you and we put the blessings of God through faith in your son's name, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we thank you for doing that today as we ask you. Amen. 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 <laughs> Heavenly Father, Joshua and Amy knelt before you. You are the source of the blessing. Amen. And these moments are special for them. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless them with a heart 
a kindness of understanding, yes. of affection, yes. and of patience. Amen. Heavenly Father, help them to keep the commitment they make to each other. Help them to fulfill your steadfast love all their life. Heavenly Father, keep them, protect them, Amen. take them under your protection. Amen. We bless them in Jesus' name, and we want them to have a happily marriage, and you're the only one you can give it to them. We lay our hands over them, and we proclaim your blessing over them. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Please stand. If you want to change places, as we typically do in the Romanian community, and uh, they have a uh, very unexpected ring bearer today. Here I am. <laughs> God bless you. Go ahead. We declare you husband and wife. And please um, take a look at the most beautiful and the youngest family and the Oregon, Washington, and beyond community. May God bless you. Uh, before we leave uh, to the reception, uh, I would like to invite Brother Turku from Seattle, uh, Emmy Zanko, brother, brother Cornell, to come up here and... Uh, Thank God for this special time that we had together. Our Heavenly Father, you're surprising all of us today with this beautiful day. Amen. And more today, more than that, you're honoring us with your presence here by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'm so happy to be in this wedding. And this is a special day for Joshua and Amy. It's a special day for their parents, the which one they pray for them. And more than that, I know God, because you know everything, because in your hands oh, you hold everything. You know this day before even they've been born, and you know this day in details. Today, they just commit each other. They just say it in front of you and in front of the parents. And all the people here, they trust in you because you are the only one able to bless their marriage. That's why they're coming here. It's going to be start a new journey for their life. It's going to be not only the journey with the sunny day, it's going to be maybe with the dark day. But I want to give them the wisdom and the choice to not just invite you by their wedding and take you as a part of their family, of their oh, wedding. Yeah, yeah. I want for them to ask you every decision in their life, financial decision, family decision, because you never make mistake. Never let them to be alone. Go with them, guide them, continue to love them, support them, helping them, hold their hands. And also, I want to, in the very difficult time, let their eyes to be up on you, because it's the place from you send the help to them. Amen. Be blessed their parents, the which one they are here, the relatives, all the invites. And I want to continue for them to understand the Word of God, the Bible, the Scripture, is the instruction for the family. Amen. Let them to read every day. Amen. Let them to understand every day and let them to make you happy every day. And if you are happy in their life, oh Lord, let their heart to be your heart. And in that way, it's not going to be hard to love each other, to submit each other, to respect each other. And both, they serve you. Amen. 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 So before we leave, Joshua and Amy, one more uh, little thing from you. 
please look at the mountain, the high peak. We want to give you a clap of joy that will echo all the way to the mountain. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. this great day that you have given us opportunity to share the union of Josh and Amy in the beginning of their lives, lives together. And thank you, Lord, that we're not just witnessing the, the joining of Josh and Amy as a couple, but the joining of two families, the Parkers and the Turkus, uh, united not just by their children in marriage, but by our shared faith in Jesus Christ. 
And we just ask your blessing upon this food and this time together with our friends and our family and just press, pray that you'd be present, your Holy Spirit would be present in everything that we do and we say. And get us all home safely tonight and bless us, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
you got to kiss afterwards. So there it is. Nice. Perfect. That's it. Okay, get ready. Here we go. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. Aww. Ah. Woo! Woo! Full team. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get a full There you go. You can try. <laughs> It'll take some skill. This is too long. Are you sure? Why don't you pick her up? <laughs> Princess Carol. Oh. Woo! 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 You want to pick her up? No. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no we're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then try it on the grass. No. <laughs> that doesn't work. Let's humble down. <laughs> Yeah, but that would be a moment. Come on, bubble! Here, come down. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Need more bubbles! Ashley's got the bubbles. Need bubbles, need more. Yeah, Josh, where's the ball with the side right, bro? Yeah, we're on the ball. Let's see if you can do two at a time. Is there any now? I'll get him in a minute. Are you going to talk about this? I don't know. Oh, it's okay. Oh, hi! Alright. Yeah. Weddings are such a vibe. Oh, really? It's seven, ten. Oh, yeah, but it's an extra 40 minutes. No, it's like 20. Oh, yeah. We're all over. I know. I can do this all day. Of course, the one time I don't point it out. Oh, no. Can we have everyone on both sides and then Josh and I walk over? Whoa, wait, we need more bubbles today. Oh, yeah. I need more bubbles. I need more. Oh I don't have that. I ran out of bubbles. I have a box of bubbles. Where's your bubbles? No bubbles. Oh, you're going to get some bubbles. I'm just 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 going to get some bubbles. All right, you guys ready? Wait, wait. What do you want to do? She wants to make a call and they want to walk through the bubble bubble. So that means we're going like this. We're face to face, yeah. I mean, come on, just like Alright, we got this. Wait, 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 you gotta go with you. Woo! Alright, okay, you go with both sides. Close your eyes. Tell us, you ready? You're on both sides, Ethan? Yeah, we're just going to go with the start it. We're building up some bubbles. Wait, wait, we need to go with the wind here, I think. It's fine, just do it. Okay, boring. Sorry, I... Keep going. 
right side, bubble 32. Back and forth, I don't know if it's really running. Better remember to smile back there, you guys. You're I've been smiling. <laughs> no, you've been doing good, Mom. Do you want me to do good? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. 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 My youngest son and my brand new daughter, congratulations. You're our first married couple in our family. Uh, we love you and just want to tell you that in order to have a successful marriage, you definitely need to put God in the center of your marriage. He's your foundation. Without God, you don't have a secure marriage. You don't have that. And love, you need to have always love, forgiveness, compassion, because they're very important. That's what dad and I have done. And we'll record that it'll be our 35th wedding anniversary this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, <laughs> Amy and Josh, very proud of both of you. Amy, welcome to the family. Could not be happier to have you as my daughter-in-law. And I know you're gonna do great together as a couple. And just looking forward to see you two grow in your relationship. 
and um, bring us some grandkids at some point. Some point. Some point. <laughs> no rush. We love you. We love you both. Hi, Amy and Josh. We are so happy for you, you know. Amy, like our daughter, Josh, our son too from today, you know. First, to love God, to love each other, to stay close together, to forgive each other, to be, you know, you know, a man and wife in your house, you know. Uh, we love you both. We're going to be with you all the time and help you in any way we can, you know. And blessings over your family. We love you. And thank you, God, for you guys. Love you. Bye. Thank you, God, for uh, this day. Mulțumim, Domnule, pentru Amy and Josh. Domnul să binecuvinteze, nu drum pe care au pornit, dorind ca Dumnezeu să fie cu ei în continuare, să-i păzească, să-i răcutească, să le dea biruință. Și noi, ca părinți, vrem să fim alături de ei, să-i binecuvântăm și ne este Domnul ca să stăm lângă ei, să-i fim toată viața noastră o bucurie pentru noi. Mulțumim, Domnule, pentru toate, pentru această zi minunată pe care ne-a dat-o și această muntă care a avut-o ei, mulțumim, Domnului, ne-a dat un timp frumos și toți au venit să se bucure împreună cu noi. Domnul să fie răudat și binecuvântat pentru toate. Amin. Mulțumim, Domnul, că ai fost cu noi, că ne-a dat un timp frumos. Mulțumim pentru ceea și pentru ei, Domnul, te rog, că ai ținut să-i binecuvântezi, Domnul, cu tine are în viața care vor folie, Domnul, te rog să-i ajuți ca să stea alături de tine, Domnul. Facă voia ta, Doamne, tu să mutezi și părinții lui Josh, pe noi împreună să fim moderați, părinții să fim pentru ei, Tatăl să încerc să fim un ajutor potrivit. Îți mulțumim pentru toate binecuvintează-le viitorul lor, Doamne, și școala lor și pentru toate îți mulțumim că ai fost cu noi în această zi. Îți dăvit acum și pe noi. Amin. Heavenly Father, we just bring Josh and Amy before you and we pray over their marriage. Just Amen. ask that you would be at the center of their marriage. Amen. That you would teach them to love each other even more than yes. they do now. Yes. And yes. just continue to grow deeper in their love for Amen. each other and Amen. their love for you. We pray for your hand over them, Lord. Keep Amen. them health, healthy. Keep them safe. Amen. And just bless them in every way possible. And let their love and their marriage and their relationship and the family that they're going to build reflect your glory and your grace. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless, God bless you. you. We love you. We do love you.